Governor Gavin Newsom is calling for a special session to approve new restrictions on oil refineries. But some lawmakers making up the Democratic supermajority are pushing back on that idea, leaving the question if or when this special session will take place at all. ABC 10's Garge Paul Sunga joins us in studio tonight with why some lawmakers are pushing back. Garge Paul. And Alicia and Luke, this is something that is not common. While some while state Democratic legislative leaders agree that regulating the oil and gas industry is needed, they disagree with the time that it should be done. To have a special session or not, that is a gridlock state Democratic legislative leaders face. Doing it in a week's time, in two or three days, um, that's irresponsible. Assembly Speaker Robert Rivas is on board. The Senate Democratic Caucus is 100% united that we're not going to come back for a special session. Senate President Pro Temp Mike McGuire says the Senate will not be coming back to Sacramento. For weeks we have had the votes. For weeks we are calling for a vote. For weeks we had consensus within our caucus to be able to provide Californians with the relief they need immediately. Governor Gavin Newsom called for a special session Saturday after the assembly pushed back on his efforts to jam through the energy package before the deadline. The proposed regulation would regulate refinery maintenance, making sure they have backfill when refineries go down to avoid a price hike. The Western States Petroleum Association said the bill would punish refiners into withholding supplies and hurt consumers, saying in a statement in part, lawmakers who vote for this mandate will be voting to increase gas costs for their constituents. We adjourned the special session, so we're back in regular session. The Assembly briefly opened the special session, and the Senate refused to before leaving the Capitol. This is a test of will, so to speak. Veteran lobbyist Chris McHaley says both houses are needed to pass any laws. Perhaps they do, in fact, agree to hold that special session. The governor could try to take the Senate to court, but McHaley says that could be difficult because it involves separation of powers. In Article 3B, there is no enforcement mechanism set forth there. Uh, the language says may. In other words, it appears to provide some discretion, again, as to when and how the legislature will convene that proclaimed special session. And time is ticking as the November election is inching closer. And the governor has to go through several hundred bills on his desk, which he has to make a decision by September 30th. Now, McGuire did say he will continue to talk with the governor and the assembly speaker, but a lot is still up in the air, Alicia. All right, we'll continue to follow it. Thank you, Garge Paul.